Allison. Is this or small bit? Just if there's any people come and buy us the basically we can add that I just want to show you this temple here, guys. This temple here, guys, is called the Temple of Romulus. Now, in a few minutes, guys, I'm going to be telling you the story of Romulus and Remus, who are the founders of Rome. This is not the same Romulus and the story of Romulus and Remus, who are the founders of Rome. It's just like anyone who's called Peter today is named after the very first Pope, St. Peter. Romulus was a very popular name in the ancient Roman times, called after the first king of Rome, Romulus. But this Romulus here is only a little child when he dies. His father is an emperor called Maxentius. And I'm sure you've guessed that Maxentius is very upset that his son Romulus has died. So Maxentius deified his son, which means he made his son into a god. And he built his son this temple here and called it the Temple of Romulus. Now considering, guys, that Romulus's father, Maxentius, died in the year 312 AD, 312 years after Christ, should give you a fantastic example of how old the Temple of Romulus is. It dates pretty much exactly 1,700 years old and the open bronze doors either side are still today the original bronze doors left completely untouched 1,700 years later. Wow. Also guys, can you see the red stone either side with the two columns? This red stone here guys is one of the most rarest and expensive stones to exist in the world today. It's called Red Egyptian Porphyry. Red Egyptian Porphyry is so ridiculous and rare that I can actually name in my five fingers only place in the world you will find Red Egyptian Porphyry. The ancient Romans stole the porphyry from Egypt. 